Hey there, this is Mario from shockingfit.com and in this video, you're gonna find out what is the best form of creatine and how to take it for maximum results. So creatine is the most researched and most used supplement out there and it's the, one of the most controversial ones because there's many different forms, there's a lot of marketing involved, a lot of different kind of theories how creatine uh, should be formulated and how it should be used. So just to kind of clear that up for you guys. So how does creatine even work? Well, in your body, there's an energy currency called ATP, adenosine triphosphate. And when your body uses ATP, it turns into adenosine diphosphate, ADP. And where creatine plays a role is in those first 10 seconds before when you're doing your first couple of reps, before the body has time to tap into glucose, sugar for energy, it donates creatine phosphate donates one of those phosphates back to ADP and turning ADP back into ATP and ATP can again be used as energy. So it serves as kind of a buffer to replenish your energy for the first couple of reps in the gym or any other activity that you're doing. Besides those benefits of extra energy to your cells, there's other stuff such as protecting your DNA from oxidative stress that's pretty much anti-aging. And there's other benefits being shown as uh, cognitive performance enhancing for vegetarians, vegans who don't have creatine from their diet. So besides that, I mean, as I said, it's a well-known supplement. It's been researched all around and there's many, many forms. So the form that has been the most researched one is creatine monohydrate. And creatine monohydrate will saturate your muscle cells with creatine 100%. So you cannot saturate something more than 100%. That is the effective dose. That is the most effective dose you can get. So all the other forms of creatine, they might be as effective or le less effective than that. And um, the way it works basically doesn't have any acute effects. That means that it's not like caffeine. You take caffeine, immediately it's have an effect, bam, effect is gone. With creatine, it's more about saturation. It's keeping that saturation at 100%. So where other forms of creatine play a role in is if you're having issues digesting creatine monohydrate because it's not very water soluble. So other forms of creatine are create, my, micronized creatine monohydrate, which is the one I use, which is the one that is the most common one now because in the past they used to be creatine monohydrate only, but now it's mainly my, the micronized form which uh, helps increase water solubility. And um, there's creatine HCL, which is one of the most famous ones, which is again, the, as effective as creatine monohydrate, just costs a little bit more, but it could help some people digest better if you're having issues with taking normal creatine. Other forms like creatine ethylester, all these things, I mean, as, as, I, as I said before, as effective as monohydrate or less effective in a case of creatine at Lester. So now that you know the best form, again, creatine monohydrate, how much do you take and how do you take it? Well, the effective dose to saturate your muscles will be from three to five grams a day. Some people like to base their creatine intake on the body weight, and I mean, I do that as well. So if I have 75 kilos, I'm gonna multiply that by 0.1, that's gonna be 7.5 grams, and that's how much I'm gonna take on a daily basis. So this is something you need to take on a daily basis to make sure that the saturation 100%. If you take a little bit extra, I mean, it's a cheap supplement, it's gonna pee out the extra and there's gonna be uh, no negative effects. And now that we're talking about a little bit of negative effects, a lot of people think there's some kind of uh, negative side effect of taking creatine, like kidney damage, or all sorts of uh, BS that you hear out there. Well, you can be assured that creatine, since being the most studied and most well-researched supplements out there, has no negative effects, no negative effect whatsoever. There's actually been a study where they took a person who had only one kidney and that one kidney was damaged and they put that person on creatine supplementation and there was no negative effects actually helped them even uh, get better. So <laughs> there's no negative effects whatsoever uh, being studied. As I said before, there could be in the beginning, there are some mild effects with digestion if you're not used to taking creatine and um, you can mitigate that by switching to a water, more water soluble formula or just taking a little bit easier, don't load creatine like um, people used to do in the past, which did cause those stomach issues, especially when there's a little bit of dehydration involved. So now going into loading, there's no need to load creatine if you take three to five or based your three to five grams a day, which is gonna take a little bit uh, longer to saturate or just base that on your body weight, as I said, give you the formula. 
uh, once you do that, there's no need to load or do any specific uh, high amounts on those first couple of days. You can simply just stay creatine, the same dose every single day. It's gonna saturate 100%. You can't get better than 100%, that's it. Um, other questions, cycling. You don't need to cycle creatine. You need to take creatine every single day. Other stuff, uh, what are some of the other effects of creatine? As I said, you will get the benefit of anti-aging, reduced oxidative stress to your uh, DNA, protecting your DNA, and um, you're gonna get some cognitive enhancing benefits, you're gonna have more energy, you're gonna feel better. There's other stuff like uh, reducing inflammation. There's all sorts of benefits. I'm actually gonna leave a link to a really good article by examine.com which goes into all of these benefits of creatine, so you can check that out if you're interested. Uh, definitely one of the most well-researched, most useful supplements out there. Other stuff that uh, most people are wondering, like, okay, do you need to take creatine with carbs or any other drink? Like, do you need to take it before or after workout? As I said, creatine is based on saturation, doesn't make any difference when you take it, as long as you take it on a daily basis. So you can take it in the morning and take it before or after workout. I mean, there's been some studies pointing out slight benefit of taking before or after. I'm gonna leave that study below so you can check that out if you want to. So if you take it in your post-workout shake, perfect. If you take it pre-workout, as good as that, or if you just take it in the morning when you wake up with your other supplements, whatever you're taking, uh, that's gonna be fine. So maintain that saturation 100%, that's it. Uh, other stuff that people used to do in the past is take creatine with some kind of carbonated drink, like with a lot of carbs or something like that or to help kind of get that insulin spike up and then that insulin is supposed to funnel the creatine into the muscle. Well, it's not necessary as long as you're keeping that saturation. As I said, once you reach that 100% in a couple of days, you're gonna see effects of creatine within two weeks, um, two, three weeks, I think that that's what the studies say. Once you see those, I mean, once you saturate 100%, there's uh, no need to take creatine with any form of um, carb-rich uh, drink or anything like that. And that's pretty much all you need to know about creatine. Take it on a daily basis, take the monohydrate, don't waste your money, don't waste time thinking about other forms because it's mostly marketing hype and theory bullshit that has no benefit whatsoever. As I said, creatine monohydrate will work 100%, can get better than 100%, that's it. Take uh, five grams a day, three, three to five grams a day or based on your body weight, that which I do, that's kind of my thing because I, I'm uh, willing to throw away a little bit extra if, if uh, it, it's not used whatever, it's a very cheap supplement out there. And uh, that's all for you guys about creatine. If you're taking creatine, let me know in the comments below what do you think about creatine. Have you noticed any effects? I'm interested in knowing that. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to click subscribe below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.